Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to talk about Canoes Duopoly model. Notice that I am going to give you a standard Canoes model, so it doesn't matter which textbook you use, you'll be able to apply it. So here we have two firms. These two firms are identical, firm one and firm two, and they share the market. So we have the inverse demand function where PQ is equal to A minus Q. A is a number and Q is the market quantity. And this capital Q is also equal to Q1 plus Q2, where Q1 and Q2 are the quantity of firm one and firm two, respectively. So we can rewrite inverse demand function P as a function of Q1 and Q2, and that is equal to A minus Q1 minus Q2. And also for each firm, there is a constant marginal cost, which is equal to C. So we are going to solve for the optimal quantity for firm 1 and firm 2 simultaneously. So here, we first take a look at firm 1's problem. Revenue is equal to price times quantity. So here, price is also equal to A minus Q1 minus Q2. So we just substitute that in. So the price times the quantity of firm 1. That's a revenue. And the marginal revenue is the partial derivative of revenue with respect to Q1. Because for firm 1, A is given and also Q2 is given. Remember, firm 1 has no say about the quantity that firm 2 is going to produce. Meaning, firm 1 will have to treat Q2 as a constant. So we take partial derivative with respect to Q1. So you find the modular revenue for firm 1. And we're going to equate that modular revenue to marginal cost in order to maximize our profit. So marginal revenue is here, and that's the marginal cost. And after that, you'll be able to find the best response function for firm 1. So Q1 star is equal to, after you solve for this, is equal to a half times A minus C minus Q2. And we can call that equation 1. Now, notice that we call that best response function because Q1, or the quantity that firm 1 is going to produce, depends on not only A and C, but also the quantity that firm 2 is going to produce. So, for example, if firm 2 is producing nothing, so if Q2 is equal to 0, you plug 0 in here, then Q1 will be equal to a half times A minus C. And if Q2 is equal to A minus C, then Q1 will be equal to 0. That means, hey, firm 2, you're producing too much. That's crazy. And that's hurting my profit, so I'm, I'm not going to produce anything. And with these two points, we can draw the best response curve for firm 1, indicating P, BR1 here. So um, let Q1 be on the horizontal axis and Q2 be on the vertical axis. So you can see that if Q2 is equal to 0, then Q1 will be equal to a half times A minus C, and that's point A here. And if firm 2 is producing a lot, say, firm 2 is producing A minus C, then firm 1 is going to say, I'm not going to produce anything anymore. So that will be point B. Connect the two points, that will be the best response curve for firm 1. We call it BR1. And uh, we can call this best response function as equation 1. Notice that because firm 1 and firm 2 are identical, so firm 2 is doing exactly the same calculation. So that brings us to equation 2 here. Q2 star is equal to a half times A minus C minus Q1. So that's the best response function for firm 2. And you can also draw the best response curve for firm 2, which is the red line here. We call that BR2. And with equation 1, and equation 2, that's the best response functions for firm 1 and firm 2. We have two equations and two unknowns. That means we'll be able to solve for Q1 and Q2. So you can see that I'm rewriting equation 1 here. Q1 is equal to a half 
times a minus c minus q2. And here q2, I'm going to plug it in, plug equation 2 in this q2. Then I will have one equation and one unknown. This one unknown is q1. So I rewrite it here. That's the one equation and one unknown. And with several steps, I can solve for q1 star is equal to a third times a minus c. And because I know that firm 1 and firm 2 are identical, I know that is also my q2 star. Graphically, you can see the solution of q1 star and q2 star. They are both a minus c over 3. And that's at the intersection of br1 and br2. In game theory, we say that this is a mutual best response. So this is the Carnot's duopoly model. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.